Shock Shaman. Whereas XRB to the Moon are playing a bit more of a peculiar option here with Blizzo on the Arms Warrior. Walrix as well, I think, is going to be playing Affliction and Looney on Restoration Druid. And this is a matchup that we've really never seen. This is going to be very interesting. Cubsy on that Shaman. He's going to be able to throw up Purges. So if Super Frost can get momentum, the Assassination Road, the Affliction Warlock, and those Purges are going to be able to do work on Looney. But we'll have to see. Looney plays very well defensively. Wealthy Man charging in right away, looking for an opener, looking like he's going to get the cheap shot, as well as that Garrote onto Walrix, putting up that Rupture, putting up that Garrote, trying to start putting out some pressure onto that Warlock very early on. I love that we're going to see both North America's arguably best Warlock against EU's best Warlock in the first game of this series. Walrixo is already down to half HP as Wealthy Man is tearing him apart. A double fear secured for Blizzo. Let's see if they can build up any pressure. But Chanimal, he is one of the most slippery Warlocks in the game. Blizzo just not able to connect. Look at him. He's just trying to march across the entire map. Cubs are getting locked out, but without Blizzo connecting, it should be easy tank there. And now we see Walrix gating with Looney to the opposite side of the map as both teams are focusing on defense. We will likely see Looney on Resto Druid have a mana advantage later into the game, so expect XRB to the moon to stick more to defense, where Super Frogs are the ones that need to get in their face. Yeah, we'll have to see. You can see Walrix and Looney playing a very defensive position. They just want Blizzo to tank out all that damage coming in from that RLS of Super Frogs. That D-Stance is going to do work. Channel's relaying his gateway, boarding away. Wealthy Man having a difficult time connecting over onto Walrix. There is the Shadow Step Kidney Shot putting out pressure finally at this time. But Blizzo also taking some damage. So when Blizzo is this far overextended, Cubsy can purge off those hots. He has Rupture on him. Channel's able to dot him up. And Walrix actually ports on top once he gets some damage rolling for his team. Yeah, it's an aggressive port by Walrix. He's getting his dots rolling. Looks like Cubsy's doing a great job with his mana, though. I'm wondering if he's playing the mana spec as opposed to the Torrent double Riptide heal. I can imagine that he is, and it's a dangerous spec. You get a lot more mana efficient, but you don't have instant healing. And when Shanimal gets low like this, it's stressful. You have to cast. He's going for healing surges. There might be an interrupt landed by Walrix. At the same time, Wealthy Man is getting counter pressure. Will he fall? Nice root there onto Wealthy Man. Wealthy or er, Walrix is going to be able to jump to safety. Shanimal trying to escape Blizzo's clutches, but he just can't. Blizzo's all over him. Chanimal down to half. Cubsy trying to pick him up. He's trying to get those healing waves. Looney blinks in, lands the bash into a full fear. Great crowd control chain. That's going to be Cubsy's trinket and the Hellstone from Chanimal. It's a great start for XRB. Ascendance as well. So big cooldowns forced out there. Super Frogs falling a little bit further and further behind. XRB in a very comfortable position. Looney doesn't have that Iron Bark though, so they had a chance to gain some momentum. It could be now, but Blizzle's just all over Chanimals. He's trying to get away. Finally, the Earthen Grab Totem is going to be coming in from Cubsy to slow down some of that damage from Blizzo. Channels an opportunity to sort of kite and get away, but Looney sitting down for a drink. Such a key thing to do. He doesn't want to fall behind on mana, so drinking very early on is going to be super important when his team's ahead. Yeah, he was falling behind on mana, and because of that uh, conscientiousness to know for the late play for the late game, he sat down for a drink. He's reset back to full mana. He's going to be healing for quite a long time, and now he's got the lead over Cubsy as both Warlocks are just dotting up the entire team, trying to rot them down as much as possible. We see Wealthy Man at 50%, trades out Cloak of Shadows as Cubsy is caught into a storm ball. Blizzo switching his attention to Cubsy. Cubsy chasing him down with the Blade Storm. Will Cubsy be able to get away in time as they're playing Ring Around the Rosie on the Pillar? Blizzo has had enough of chasing the Ghost Wolf. He's going to go after the Warlock, but Chanimal just can't be touched. He's great kiting with that Earthbind Totem. Wealthy Man makes the swap over to Blizzo to stun him up, and Chanimal getting some unstable afflictions out. Blizzo is rotting down. Looney trades out the Iron Bark to stabilize Blizzo, but now they swap over to Walrix. Vendetta has been traded out. Walrix trades his unending resolve, but that's a critical cooldown that won't be available for the next Vendetta from Wealthy Man, and that swap from the Super Frogs has made an opening for them in another minute. Minute. That was all possible from Looney sitting an entire blind sap, so opting not to trinket that blind, which is very standard. And he's got the full sap. His team fell, fell a little bit behind there, so Walrix had to use that wall, like you mentioned. So maybe a little bit of a mistake there. Super Frogs might have an opportunity to capitalize. There's the full kidney shot onto Walrix. Cubsy, though, rotting lower and lower. And like you said, Looney had a huge mana advantage at this point in the game. All right, Walrix in midfield trying to kite Wealthy Man the same as Chanimal. Chanimal in a better position. He's not letting Blizzo charge to him. That's why he's hanging out behind the pillar. He's trying to make Blizzo waste as many gap closers as possible, and Blizzo just can't even find a target. Finally charging to Chanimal. How is Chanimal going to get away from Blizzo now? He's caught in the storm, but battle stance for Blizzo. He's going in, sharpened blade, a lot of damage on Chanimal. He might position to the gateway. He's dipping low and low. He's being greedy. He manages to gate across the map. Walrix is repositioned on the opposite side of the gate to be already on top of Chanimal. Will he fall? Cubsy down to half mana. Looney with the huge lead from that early drink still. And it looks like Chanimal should be able to start to stabilize. No, a counter spell landed onto Cubsy. That's going to put Chanimal even further behind as he portals back out of line of sight. Blizzo makes a swap. Cubsy jumps away. Chanimal's spell hunter went down. He's trying to resummon that. He's dangerously low. Blizzo, Blizzo just blade storming. Chanimal needs to stay out of line of sight, but that hamstring gets reapplied. Another spell lock landed onto Cubsy by Walrix. These interrupts are critical for XRB to, to the moon to get a spirit link totem or even a kill. 
Yeah, Kudzi trading out his trinket there as well. A big swap over on a Blizzo, but Looney responds with the Iron Bark, reducing some of that damage as well as increasing his healing. So Blizzo should be completely fine in this situation. XRB has a lot of momentum, but Kudzi manages to stabilize his team that wasn't even the Ascendant, so still has that available as well. There's the full blind onto Looney. Looney opts to trinket out this time. He doesn't want to fall behind once again, throwing out the entangling roots onto Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man's having a difficult time connecting to his target, but there's the full kidney shot. A lot of damage coming in from Super Frogs, but Looney just in a position where he could just free cast those uh, the rest of Druid's healing seem to be very effective, especially if it oh, isn't challenged with any oh. sort of interrupts. Channel storm bolted behind the pillar, manages to gate back to Cubsy. Blizzo immediately reconnects Earthen Shield Totem for Cubsy. He's trying to fake cast the pummel. He doesn't fake cast Blizzo. Blizzo lands that. Channel's gonna dip even lower. Cubsy finally getting some healers. No, now spell locked. Great interrupt chain on Cubsy here from XRB, but Blizzo might have overextended. He's dangerously low now as well. Disarming wealthy man to try and stabilize. Blizzo can't go behind that pillar right now. He's too vulnerable. Looney's trying to top him off. So he can get aggressive, finally starting to restabilize, but that mana bar is going to be the critical factor to who ends up winning this game, and Cubsy is running out of time. Yeah, it is not looking good for Super Frogs. Dampening getting higher and higher at 6% at this point in the game. Full kidney shot onto Walrix once again. Vendetta going to be available very shortly. There's a, about a 10 second window where Super Frogs can take advantage of that. Vendetta, oh! Walrix getting lower and lower. Looney being very greedy, not using that Iron Bark. The port dispel, though, should be enough. He's throwing out the healing touches once again. XRB is known for the greedy plays and they constantly get away with it. Wealthy Man trinketing out of that bash. Walrus gates away once again. You can see Wealthy Man using the Cloak of Shadows. Uh, he's just so far away from Walrus, it's going to be hard for him to reapply that pressure. Yeah, and Walrus is unending resolve right below his frame. That red icon is a defensive cooldown that's going to be able to negate a lot of pressure and he may opt to trade it out in this position and he does. He, it's good to use it early. If he uses that too low, he might just die through it. So, but ultimately, Super Frogs get ahead as a result of that trade and Walrus is going to be vulnerable if he's in a bad position. So these Warlocks need to make sure they're always in range of their portal to escape the melee. And it, it seems like Walrus is going to have to escape. Wealthy Man Channel needs to escape Blizzo. And right now, nobody can hit the Warlocks. You see Cubsy and Channel tag teaming behind the pillar. Blizzo is forced to attack the Rogue, which is not the target that he would like to be training down. But Channel is just almost impossible to get to. He lands an interrupt on the Looney as they swap to Blizzo with no trinket. Blind on the Looney. Trinkets. Will he be able to stay alive? They overlap defensive cooldowns. Blizzo is going to be vulnerable now. And XRB to the moon. This could be an opening for Super Frogs. Mana is starting to tie up for both sides and it's still hard to tell who's going to take this. Yeah, DR Fear over on the Looney. Blizzo still a little bit low in this situation. Wealthy Man though also taking some damage. DR Kidney Shot comes in. Blizzo trinkets out anyways. It's a one second kidney that Blizzo trinket out of. He really wanted he to get aggressive here. He gated the Stormbolt. The it nice mind read there by Cubs. He escapes the stun for free. Great presence of mind. But now he's followed it up with a pummel. Sharpened Blade but Blizzo can't stay behind the pillar. He's too low with defensive cooldowns. It's a rogue race against the Warrior. Who's going to fall first? Both players down to half. Looney getting stunned. No follow-up onto that, but Wealthy Man's low. Cubsy barely stabilized him. Spell lock secured. Blizzo goes into battle stance, but he gets kidney shot into battle stance. Great stun by Wealthy Man. They need to build some counter pressure here. They could build a mana lead. Unstable afflictions casted by both Warlocks. Channel in the better position, though. He's not stacked up. Wealthy Man down to half. Walrix down to half. Super Frogs just trying to pull his back, Ben. Yeah, he has the vendetta as well as that evasion. Wealthy Man being very patient with that evasion, realizing he needs to wait for the critical moment. Walrix getting lower and lower. Another interrupt on the loot into the kidney shot. Walrix trying to get away with Wealthy Man all over him though with the vendetta. Walrix might just go down in this situation. Iron Bar connects a huge gateway across the map, but now Channimals is right on top of him, can reapply those odds as well as that drain soul. Looney uses the artifact, he uses everything. The Seduce the comes seduce. in. Looney gets out of it though. Nice interrupt from Blizzo stopping that CC chain on the Looney. That was very critical. Oh, that was the opening for Super Frogs to take the game. They're gonna lose that opportunity. They're gonna have to wait another minute for Wealthy Man to build up that much damage again. Looks like Blizzo is forced to attack Wealthy Man. Both Warlocks, obviously the best from their region. They're almost untouchable with their kiting pattern. So Blizzo and Wealthy Man are just gonna trade blows in the center field. Looney's mana is starting to get tapped though. Cubsy's done a great job with his mana. Typically you would expect the Druid to outmana the Shaman, but now Looney trying to sneak in a drink. Can anyone stop Looney from drinking? The mana lead could potentially be lost, and it's lost. Looney goes back to almost full mana. So Super Frogs are going to need to get a cooldown trade win to get this game because Cubsy is not going to be able to drink. He can't go into stealth like Looney, and this is now looking dangerous for Super Frogs. They might be able to just kill, though, the rest of Druid. He might have mana, but dampening is getting so high. Wealthy Man, he has his Vanish. He has the Vendetta. Kidney shot over on the Blizzo. He still doesn't have the die by the sword for quite some time. Looney trinkets out to spells Blizzo as he realizes he's going to be in a lot of trouble. 
But now Looney has no trinket. He still has the iron bark. Blizzo reconnecting onto Wealthy Man, but now Wealthy Man's gonna be able to get up those poisons as well as those bleeds once again. Shadow stepping over onto Walrus, but Walrus just ports away very easily. So Wealthy Man not having that kidney shot. Walrus not gonna be bled up. And unfortunately, that's a huge loss of oh. pressure from Super Frost. Walrus repositioned his gateway on top of Chanimal's gateway. That's an aggressive play, so they can chase after them. Blizzo is gonna be able to gate without having to use his heroic leap, and this could be critical. Walrus is on top of them, but this could be a greedy play. Looney gets sapped. Wal Wealthy Man with a six sap. Now Walrus is in trouble. He trades out the unending resolve. He's trying to resummon his pet. His channel has been rotting that down, but unending resolve is now going to be fading. Looney trades out the iron bark. Comes he trinkets out of the fear. If they can keep this pressure up on the Walrus, it's going to be critical. They manage to get all the cooldowns. Now they make a swap to Blizzo. They interrupt Walrus on that banish. Trying to keep the pet able to interrupt. Blizzo is dipping dangerously low. Looney's healing is starting to struggle. Chanimals is very, he's doing a great job of positioning in this matchup. Looney once again dispelling the hots or the dots off of Blizzo, but Blizzo and Walrus both getting lower. XRB to the moon falling further and further behind as we are at 33% dampening. Wealthy Man getting dangerously low, but that evasion will protect him in this situation. Wealthy Man now needs to connect those bleeds on the Walrus. He needs to continue this pressure. Chanimals has dots on everyone, but Wealthy Man just not getting healed up. Blizzo swaps over to Wealthy Man. Kidney shot on the Blizzo in battle stance. So Wealthy Man getting lower and lower. Oh, the Wealthy shadow Man step back. Steps away, but Blizzo all over him. Can he get the execute? No, he cannot. Spearly comes in in the nick of time for Cubsy to keep Super Frogs in the game. And Cubsy's been doing such a great job. His mana is tied again. Looney has drank the full mana twice, and Cubsy still stays in the fight. He's doing his best. The whole team goes to the opposite side of the map. Blizzo is trying to chase after them, but Blizzo hasn't used any defensive cooldowns. Blizzo is just going to throw himself at Super Frogs because he knows he has an answer, and if they can't push Blizzo out, Wealthy Man could falter. He's dipping lower and lower. They go for the kidney shot play. Looney's low. Cubsy gets locked out. This is still anyone's game. Cubsy, and will he be able to keep him going? Blizzo dips low. Looney dispels all the dots from Wealthy Man. Now into execute range. Cubsy barely connecting a healing surge to keep his team alive. Blizzo overextends for the kill. Looney moves in. He walks into the blind. Trinkets out. Blade starting to immune the kidney. Everybody is low at this point. Who's going to take it, Ben? Full kidney shot on Looney. Blizzo died by the sword. Wealthy Man low. Cubsy low as well. Warlocks have dots on everyone. The fear on the Looney. Blizzo needs to be able to tank out just a little bit more damage. Super Frogs has almost run out of time, but they still have an opportunity on Blizzo. Nice disarm cut again. Wealthy Man has that vanish, though. He can vanish out at any moment. Super Frogs, though, this is a nightmare. XRB has stabilized. There's the DR kidney shot over on the Blizzo. Wealthy Man still just trying to kite away, trying to buy a little bit of time for Cuzzy, but Cuzzy has completely ran out of steam. I don't know if he can keep this up. We're at 43% dampening. Normally, the games end around 35%. Cuzzy's trying to keep his team going. He's gone to the storm ball. Cuzzy's got nothing. One more healing wave. Blizzo's going all in for the kill, but he's got nothing. Full fear on Looney. They need damage on Blizzo. Blizzo just gates away. He's going to let Walrix kill him. Blizzo just needs to play safe. They swap to Looney. No trinket. No barks. Can they have to kill him in this stun, but they don't have the damage. Looney's going to escape, and all of the Super Frogs are dying. Blizzo is their only opening. Will Blizzo throw the game? It doesn't look like it, as he's dipping low. Wealthy Man Vendetta so soon. Anybody could fall at this point. Vendetta used immediately from Wealthy Man onto Blizzo. Looney, how can you heal through this damage? Iron Bark has been committed as well. Everyone is dying. 50% damage. Walrix skates away. Cannibal skates away. <laughs> Both Warlocks on top of each other. Looney just trying to get out the heals. chance at this point the super frogs played this out to their hearts fullest but ultimately xrb to the moon i think are gonna come out ahead as channel and cubs here just rotting behind the pillar blizzo mounts up on that war elephant he's gonna deliver the final blow here xrb to the moon that we i don't think i was expecting yeah. it to be that close though that okay. was insane one thing i must say is we cannot dealer in this type of situation you gotta give it up to cubsy and looney as well for prioritizing who to heal it must be it must be super hard to choose. David, Ricky, do you think NA can do it? Do you think Super Frogs can put XRB to the moon to the test in the dampening strategy that they have been known for? Well, this is a very interesting map selection. So we talked a little bit about that Arms Warrior versus the Assassination Rogue. I think on a much smaller map, the Assassination Rogue, he doesn't have quite the same mobility as an Arms Warrior. So if he can get those dots out, Super Frogs is going to have a lot more pressure. I also wonder if Wealthy Man might be playing Fan of Knives. If he just AoE down the team, had the Mortal Strike on multiple 
targets. That's the advantage the Assassination Rogue can bring. He immediately steps over to Walrix and pops that Vendetta, but Walrix just trinkets and portals away. Walrix is having a good time over there. Channel's kiting Blizzo. Both Warlocks really showing their kiting skills. Blizzo and Wealthy Man are just trying to find a target. It looks like Wealthy Man's chasing down Blizzo as Blizzo doesn't want to jump out of line of sight because I can imagine Wealthy Man's holding on to another kidney shot. And as soon as Blizzo goes out of line of sight, he's going to go for it. Looney tries to bash Channel to allow Blizzo to connect with a Vortex. Looney trying to support Blizzo, but now Channel could just gate away. He got feared on the gate. Wow. Nice play from Blizzo. He's going to have a lot more uptime now as a result of that sick play. That was insane. Immediately going into battle stance, trying to pressure down Channel's interrupt over on the Cubsy. But Cubsy lands that Earthen Shield totem before the Stormbolt. Nicely done to predict some of that incoming damage in the crowd control, slowing down XRB's momentum just a little bit. And Looney doesn't want to play too aggressive in this situation. If Wealthy Man's able to connect dots as well as Channel's, could be some trouble. There's the full blind on the Looney. He immediately trinkets out, doesn't want to fall behind. Blizzle still all over Channel's in this situation, but Blizzo needs to get hotted up by Looney. You can see Looney repositioning, wants to be able to get those heal over time effects on the Blizzo, but Cubsy and Channel's constantly dragging him away. Yeah, and uh, Manus, even for now, it seems like both teams are kind of just in a neutral position trying to find anything they can hit, but Channel is, I guess, taking the brunt of this exchange as Blizzo has basically been on his back Ooh. for most of this match, as, whereas Walrix is just up top, free casting on Sable Affliction. So the Wealthy Man makes a swap, though, over to Looney with no trinket. Dipping very dangerously low. He's not trading the box. He now trades it, but at such low health, Wealthy Man is trying to gun down Looney. He's not going to falter. Catches a, a really big Swift Man. Cubsy's now on top of Looney. Maybe some purges. He displaces a back to Walrix and away from Cubsy. Great positioning from Looney there to survive the assault and swap from Wealthy Man. That was delayed Vendetta coming in from Wealthy Man. He thought Looney was just, you know, playing it a little bit too greedy, so wanted to apply additional pressure. But there's the Shadow Step Kidney Shot once again onto Looney. Caught in that caster form. He doesn't have Trinket, no Barkin, but he does have the Iron Bark available. Wealthy Man doing a good job putting out pressure all over the place. And that's what I'm talking about. The smaller maps allows Wealthy Man to connect onto all three targets. Just a little bit easier keeping up that Rupture, keeping up that Garrote, and allowing his team just that much more pressure. Animal dipping low. Cubsy trying to pick him up with some healing waves across the map. Seems like he's doing all right for now. Wealthy Man just dots up Blizzo, then immediately runs to Walrix to get dots onto Walrix, and he's probably going to shadow step over to Looney. Maybe no. He commits the kidney shot onto Walrix. He wants to shut down some of the Warlock pressure, extend the match, kind of harass him. Now Wealthy Man switches back to Blizzo. Wealthy Man trying to go all over the map. He's killing the War Banner downstairs. Blizzo is trying to pre War Banner a setup, I, I suppose, there, but now that War Banner won't be available. Channel using Nether Ward to free cast Rain Soul on Walrix. Uh, Interesting choice there, but now he won't have it defensively. He trinkets out of the Stormbolt, trying to kite Blizzo. Looney downstairs. They're starting to stack Blizzo and Walrix up in a triangle. And in this map, it's difficult for them to keep a lot of space, which means Wealthy Man's pressure is a lot higher. But Blizzo's just doing so much damage to Channel. He uses Cubsy as a body just to charge back to the box to try and reconnect the Channel. But Channel immediately goes back to the other side of the box. And now Wealthy Man pulls back to try and peel Blizzo. Blizzo goes into defensive stance. He expects a kidney shot. Wealthy Man moves for a blind play. Walrix pre portals the stun. Wealthy Man tries to go back to Ward. It's Blizzo. He's just taking a drain soul to the face, though. He's dipping dangerously low. He stuns up Blizzo. Blizzo trinkets out to continue the assault. Mana in favor of XRB. Both these teams are playing phenomenal, though. It's still hard to tell who's going to take this. Yeah, Wealthy Man getting lower and lower. Doesn't have evasion. Does have the focus shadows available. It comes in a good spot to just throw out those heals. So Wealthy Man should be fine. But Wealthy Man has an opportunity now to bleed up both targets. Looney falling a little bit behind. Throws out that dispel. So he's going to get a little bit low, but able to keep Walrix alive. Blizzo could be the one that is in trouble. There's a full kidney shot on him. Blizzo. So, spell off on the Looney, and they take him down before Daphne even kicks in. The Blizzo, punish. that was yeah. a punish. Blizzo overstayed his welcome. Oh, that was a great punish, and right when Shanimal landed a spell lock on Looney, they baited Blizzo's trinket. The Super Frogs need to find a way to end this game before the attrition is scales too high for them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be looking at Wealthy Men and Shanimal to get that pressure out. Will Super Frogs be able to hold the entire NA region on their back? XRB to the moon. Going to be trying to get the lead here as well. Trying to get on match point is both of these teams. Yep, the gates are going to open. What is Super Frogs going to do? They need to find a way to get some offense. We're going to be looking for Blizzard to get those incapacitates on that Windwalker Monk. Nice sap coming in from Wealthy Man, but can he find his targets? He's going to be opening up on the Looney and Bear form. Just throwing out a cheap shot. Garrote over on the z and I think z probably is their best bet as a main target in this matchup. Yeah, z caught into the kidney shot. Wealthy Man pulls the trigger on that Vendetta. First thing he does, and Looney is immediately going to iron Park and Trinket. Now they could swap to Looney potentially later on. Cubsy, though, in the meantime, got Capacitor Totem channeled down to 
at half as Blizzo is training down the Warlock. Cubsy now getting wind sheared. Cubsy and Channel will need to make sure that they don't stack up. Otherwise, Blizzo is going to land a lot of double stuns. Their positioning is good right now with Cubsy staying far away from Channel. Zpi now caught into another kidney shot. The pressure on a Zpi has been decent throughout this game, dipping very low. We see Ooh. a seduce as Zpi dipped dangerously low. He dispels off the UAs with the stone form. Will that be a risky play, though? They get the fear onto Looney out. Zpi is dipping low, and somehow Super Frost, he jumps into the wall. There's a misplay from Zpi there. He might not be able to escape now. It's Wealthy Man is just gunning him down. You can hear the purges coming in from Cubsy as well. There's the UA solid. Oh, oh, Zpi gets taken down. Super Frost going hyper aggressive. Wealthy Man using everything immediately. Those high level decision makes uh, and positioning and plays are super difficult to execute. And you have to do it another time. And now Looney knows that that's the potential is there. So I don't know if Super Frogs can do this. Maybe XRB come back. We're on Tolveron Arena. We're about to load out. These gates are going to open, Ven. This might be the chance for NA. Yeah, it might be. But this large map is going to be difficult. XRB opting to go back to that WLD composition. So getting off that Windwalker, getting off the Elemental Shaman. And we'll have to see how that plays out for them. Wealthy Man looking for an opener right away. Doesn't opt to pull the trigger just yet on the Looney. Just going for the Garo blind over on the Looney. So trying to get that initial pressure. Looney trinkets out. Walrus trinkets out as well. Oh. Now Wealthy Man's going to be going over to Blizzo. Looney trinketed with no vendetta. Wealthy Man is going to kill Looney. Literally just in a few seconds. Wealthy Man, he literally has his eyes glued to Looney. And Looney needs to be ready. He's trying to get in the bear form. I'm waiting for this moment. If Looney gets caught, he gets sapped. He dropped combat dashing in. He wasn't healing. They swapped to Blizzo. Blizzo immediately heroic leaps away. Fear onto Wealthy Man. Great teamwork from Walrix there to save Blizzo. Oh, but now Looney gets speared. Blizzo is still low and low. Oh, now in a finish shot. Blizzo trades out the die by the sword. Super Frogs with the massive outplay early on here. And now into another fear. Blizzo's rotting down behind the pillar. He's trying to sap him out of the fear. Not able to. Now he's dotted up. Looney connects the iron bar into a hex. What is Head happening right now? So low. The super frogs are on fire, but I think Looney is going to be able to restabilize. But at what cost? They use every single defensive cooldown. Super frogs massively outplaying XRB in that situation. Walrus now into the kidney shot. Big pressure coming in from super frogs once again. Looney able has managed to stabilize Blizzo. Walrus still low though. Walrus needs to get those dots up. Super frogs in a very defensive position, dragging Blizzo very far away from Looney. It's key so they can get up all those dots. Looney has to overextend once again. If they can get one more CC channel. chain onto Looney, it be very like, scary. Channel's gotten three unstable afflictions onto Blizzo. He, he, channel's repositioning maybe to fear Looney. Channel's goes over. It's going to be a fear on Walrix. Looney needs to line of sight and avoid Hex. He bashes Cubsy to deny the Hex. Looney needs to avoid crowd control. Looks for a clone. Manages to sneak in a Cyclone. That could be an opportunity for damage on a wealthy man. He's down to half HP. Doesn't look like they have any more follow-up. Well, the man's trying to run away. He's still dangerous low, but Looney's playing aggressive with no trinket. He's got to be careful. He's going to thorns himself. Cubsy jumps over. They might all in Looney. He's got no trinket. He's playing it greedy. He barks kids at half HP. He might just die. Super Frogs are like this. Looney barely stays alive. Gets another stun. Frenzy regen recovers. But Super Frogs, man, these are great signs of life for them. If they're going to win, it has to be here. This isn't the XRB we normally see. Uh, Super Frogs managing to find a lot of weakness in their defense. Here's the gain again. That was beautifully oh. done, but Blizzo gets caught into the kitty shot. A lot of pressure going to be coming in from Super Frogs once again, but Looney not in any crowd control. You can see Cubsy, you know, his man is actually in a pretty okay spot. Both Looney and Cubsy sort of tied up in this situation. Looney once again has to trinket out that blind. Very standard play. Wealthy Man getting low, though. Walrus skates away. Wealthy Man just sort of caught with Blizzo in the middle of the map. Blizzo goes into the battle stands, putting out huge pressure, but Wealthy Man ultimately is going to get away. Able to reconnect over onto Walrus. Lends a kidney shot over onto Looney as well. Uh, not going to be gonna dead, that is the Bane. He vanished. He snaps out of the kidney shot. Great crowd control from Wealthy Man in this game. He's on fire. Channel's trying to fake cast interrupts and land up here. He goes for the sunk his play. They're all in play on Walrix. He's got an unending result, but he's dangerously low. Will he be able to stay alive? A hex now out of the sap. The crowd control chain from Super Frogs is absolutely insane as Walrix barely stays alive. Lava bursts are flying in. Walrix, man, he is lucky at that point. Channel's oh, no, Channel now. He swapped over to into execute range. He gets Vortex back. Comes into the bash. Looney repositioned. He lands a cycle, but Channel has recovered back to full HP. Walrix. Man, this is so close. Super Frogs, I feel like they've been denied the kill. It's almost robbed of the kill. Blizzo, Herug leaps aggressively with Vendetta active. Both Blizzo and Channel in a lot of trouble. Yeah, no defensives available for XRB, so Blizzo has to be very careful when he charges in like that. That was nice pressure coming in from XRB, though. Walrus able to get out a ton of UA cast. There's the full kidney shot on the Blizzo. Lockout on a Looney once again. Cubsy not throwing in too many purges, Walrix. though. Walrus running <laughs> down as well as he gets lower and lower. <laughs> Walrix away, but he gets taken down. Super Frogs, the upset. Three to one. I deserve that. I really did deserve that. And 
It was Chanimals. I am here with the man from Super Frogs who was able to take down XRB, many people's favorites, and Chanimals. You won the World Championship in 2013. You defeated Europe then, and you've defeated them now. Are you Europe's kryptonite? Uh, no. I mean, we lost in 2016, but for America. All right, all right, all right. But interesting composition coming out of you guys. You played the Rogue Lock Shaman. Not something we see much in Europe. Why did you think it was going to work against XRB? Uh, RLS is definitely a comfort pick for us. Uh, it's one of our main comps. Uh, I think really good at it. And it honestly just beats most of the things they play. So it was a good pick. All right, and now, of course, the next matchup now is, I mean, you've thrown XRB into the lower bracket. They're going up against Method Orange. That's going to be crazy, but you are going up against Reformed. They beat Method Orange very convincingly in the first series of the day. How confident are you going up against their jungle, Cleve? Um, I haven't actually seen many of the European teams. We haven't fought many of them, but uh, some of them have some really sick players like Blizzo, best warrior by far. It's insane, actually. So those guys would definitely be really good, and it'll be a hard match for sure. Yep, well, you heard it here first. We will be seeing that matchup later today, guys. So that's something that we're very much looking forward to. But I've got to throw back to Rich. A little bit humbled at this point, but what can you do? Yeah, back it. Now, we're a little bit later on, we, we, we get to... I, I'm just just trying to think things through right now because the lower portion of the bracket has two absolute sharks method orange and xrb to the moon and now in this upper round one the two matches that are left skill cap black versus sneakier snakes and the rejects versus ascendant uh, right now uh, you know the skill cap black versus sneakier snakes is just a crazy one in general uh, that's the next one that we're going to be seeing I, I think this could definitely go either way i i Skillcap Black, of course, isn't going to have Raikou, Venriki. Yeah, unfortunately.